In this quick tutorial, I show you where you can change your header settings for your WordPress website. Depending on your theme, you can tweak some of your header settings. For this particular theme, we can actually change the font color and the gradient color of its background. Other themes allow you to upload an image directly to it, creating a custom header of your choice. In order to do this, let's go ahead and get into our back end and go to Appearance on your sidebar and then click on Custom Header located right here. Now, again, this will vary depending on your theme. But again, for this theme, we can do um, some color changes here. So if we click on Font Color, we bring up a bunch of colors here that we can choose from. So we can just like pick a color here really quick, like we can pick yellow. And then we can pick the gradient color for the upper portion, let's make it green. And then for the lower color, we can make it a darker green. You know, you can just go ahead and tweak it like that. Or we can revert what we did. Or if you choose, you can click the advanced option, which gives you access to um, putting in the codes yourself, if you're familiar with color codes. And you can toggle it with it that way. But anyway, I'm just going to revert back here and just leave it for now. Here, I'm going to go ahead and just change my theme really quick to something else. And then go back to that custom header setting. And here, the image header is actually, well, the, as I said, the header is an image. So you can actually go through here now and upload a file from your computer to make it the new header. And right now it's just a tree. And you can also see here there is a specification for the image and that is 760 by 180. So just keep that in mind when you create your header. Just make it that, just make sure it's within those dimensions and just go ahead and upload your file from here. And then the um, image header should be the image of your choice. And that is a quick overview of how you can change the header on your web page. I have more tutorials coming up, so stay tuned.